Well, he's Uncle Lee. Yeah. Well, we are going to find out more about our guest this morning. First off, he is known worldwide as a fashion czar of Asia. And for over 50 years, acclaimed Filipino designer Pitoy Moreno has been dressing up some of the world's most elegant women in formal Filipiniana. With his intricate beadwork and hand-painted fabrics, he embodies the Philippine fashion aesthetic, providing inspiration to designers. Next week, Metro Society pays tribute to the Filipino fashion icon and national artist, via a tribute gala in celebration of his genius, artistry, and creativity. And we're uh, very happy to be joined in the studio this morning by Metro Society Editor-in-Chief Raul Manzano and two of Pitoy Moreno's muses, socialite Conchitina Bernardo, consultant for the Pitoy Moreno Tribute Gala, and 1975 Miss Universe fourth runner-up, Chiqui Brosas, as well as Pitoy Moreno's best friend, designer Eddie Ocampo. Good morning to all of you and thank you so much for joining us. It's wonderful to see, um, I mean, I, I'm sure you guys are all friends as well, but uh, uh, the four of you unified in really paying tribute to uh, such a, a fashion czar, a uh, fashion czar of Asia and uh, our national artist, Pitoy Moreno. Yeah, we believe that it's time to, uh, I have my mic here, thank you. We believe it's time to honor Pitoy. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we feel that he is a, a national treasure mm -hmm. and a national artist. Well, I yeah. think many people uh, feel, feel the same yeah, way yes. as well. Uh, you guys didn't uh, fall short of doing any sort of tribute in the new issue of Metro Society. Oh yes, we devoted the whole issue to the entire Pitoy. Issue. The entire issue is on Pitoy Moreno. Tell us about the uh, perspectives that you um, that you guys. Okay, really we went did uh, we did Pitoy in all his different uh, angles. You no, know, as an international designer, as a couturier, as a f foremost as a Filipino, mm -hmm. and we interviewed all these uh, lovely people here, and they assisted us in putting the magazine together. So we have different perspectives but of of, of Pitoy. Seen through the eyes of, of his, his friends. closest friends, yes. right? Well, uh, I guess let's find yes, out yes, yes, how exactly. we can really um, how we can really get to know the Petoy Moreno uh, through people who know him best. Uh, Ma'am, you, you know him through for so many years now, I guess. Well, a long time. I've known him for a very long time. Let's not go into the numbers, <laughs> to the <specific laughs> numbers. Okay, but it's been a long time. But mm -hmm. it's been short in the sense that. Uh, it's been very nice. He's mm -hmm. been more than just a couturier. He's, I've been more than just a model as far as he's concerned. He's treated me like somebody he loves mm -hmm. and the feeling is mutual. He saw me through my wedding, my children's weddings, and he has uh, refurbished um, a christening gown that all my grandchildren have been using. Pitoy is not just a couturier to me. Mm -hmm. He's a lifelong friend. Well, that's very, very fortunate of you. I know there are a handful of um, of people who can really call him a dear yes, friend. Yes, that's true. Uh, what is it? What is he he like? Uh, if is there's something that really not Special? a lot of people, yes. Know oh my about gosh, him. Pitoy never forgets a birthday, never forgets an anniversary. Mm -hmm. He's famous for his buko pie. Okay, there's no buko pie like Pitoy's buko pie. Whenever you invite him, he brings it to a party. He um, he's very thoughtful. Mm -hmm. And more than that, he's very caring. Mm -hmm. My mother was ill for a very long time. My mother and he had a bond. I could probably say that my mother discovered Pitoy in more ways than one because she was writing then for the, the old Manila Times. Mm -hmm. And she was a society columnist and she wrote extensively about him. And he never forgot that. No? And when she was ill, he would visit her, you know, uh, show her love, mm -hmm. pray with her. And I, I keep that in my heart. You know, I keep that in my heart because those are very special moments. Well, I think this is the time when, um, when you're able to give some of that back and have other people yeah. uh, get to know wrote Pitoy a more. very special article mm -hmm. in the magazine. It's called Pitoy, My Friend. And she goes through the whole, their whole lifetime relationship. It was like very nice. That's yeah. right, because a lot of people really just see, you know, from the, from the third person yes, perspective, right, yes. someone who's very proud to be Filipino. Yeah. Uh -huh. But really, in his, on his personal side, uh, he acts very, uh, he's a dear Filipino at heart with, yes. uh, with the way that he treats his yes. friends. Well, I mean, there are a few women who are also very fortunate enough to be a muse of Pitoy Moreno's. Yes. Uh, Ms. Chiki, how, could, how do we, uh, how, what was that like? I mean, um, it, yeah. you Actually, only the beauty queens and, yes. uh, and a very select few. Well, before I became a beauty queen, he actually um, had a, a group of ladies go to Europe to model. Mm -hmm. So we were together for like um, a month. 
and it was really lots of fun, you know, um, being with Pitoy. He's, he would always, um, like, uh, be very ca cautious about, you know, how we, how we present ourselves. Mm -hmm. He would always say, okay, smile, ladies. Mm -hmm. he'd, he'd be like our, our parang father, mm -hmm. you know, when, when, when he was always yeah. like that. So he was very, very caring and very protective. And um, I remember when I joined the beauty pageant, and this was uh, for the Miss Universe in El Salvador in Central America, mm -hmm. he lent me a gown. And that, that gown really rated high. It was one of the reasons why I think I placed mm. in the contest. Well, I mean, his, the, in his intricate uh, attention, his attention to, the, attention to detail, to detail yeah. is really yeah. quite beautiful. Yeah. I know we have some pieces I think we're going to see a little yeah. bit later mm -hmm. on yes. that, that are also going to yeah. be seen on the show. But of course, I want to ask one of his uh, dear yeah. friends that has known Eddie, him yeah. uh, through, uh, since you're 16, oh, well, you I guess, know, or um, Eddie, right? Yeah, I, I, was, I just came from... Uh, I just came from um, the province to go to college, actually, mm. when I, you know, then uh, one of the friends, Gilbert Perez, who was a professor, was my professor. And then he saw some of my sketches and mm -hmm. they got so interested. And he brought me to Pitoy. And ever since that time, it, it was love at first sight, you know. He, he right away sensed my... Um, talent. My talent and... Pro mm -hmm. and, and Yeah, Fashion. and... and I, you know, who doesn't want to meet Pitoy Moreno at that time, you know? <laughs> it's Eddie, everybody, Eddie's it's accompanied dream. him on over 40 trips abroad? Yes. 45 yes. trips. Wow, I mean, yeah. you guys have really spent a lot of time together, and that's surprising yeah, he, because I can't seem you know, to stand my best we friend. Were, you know, <laughs> actually, actually he, he basically made me, you know, he, mm -hmm. he molded me into what I became, you know. Although I did not practice my craft in here, I, I practiced it in the States, you know. Mm -hmm. But he was responsible for everything I knew. Now, when you see pieces that Pitoy has uh, created, uh, are there things or aspects about it? What aspects about it uh, do you particularly say, ah, that's Pitoy, my friend. I see my friend oh, in those pieces. Oh, definitely, definitely. Uh, well, for example? Uh, well, no matter, no matter how uh, European he tries, you know, there is always a Filipino touch in his creation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In his, you know, in his he work. never, that's one thing he never did is to stray away from the Filipino He's, he's foremost a Filipino. Yes. That's what he always tells everyone. Well, um, it, there's definitely to be uh, a lot of to a lot yeah. to be proud of in, in the pieces that he creates. We yes. have two of them here with us, and these are going to be um, found as well in the Metro Society party. Yes, and it's going to be modeled by a professional model. Oh, wonderful! Tell stage. us about the two pieces, Raul, if you, if you may. I, I or, think Eddie would be the best to Eddie, talk sure. about it. Oh uh, well, these yeah. were uh, you know used yeah, yeah. for the fashion shows before. Uh, can I mention the name of the yes, yes. Carol. Okay, the, the black gown was uh, modeled by Carol mm -hmm. Masibay, yeah. you know? And uh, the other one was used by, well, a lot of them used it. Uh, it's Karen Agustine. Mm -hmm. So, this has been around the world so many times, actually. Oh. I mean, you take the the classic Filipiniana, and uh, there's definitely a modern twist to it. Yes. I mean, the the print, the draping, the draping and then uh, and the detail yeah. in the back of that uh, black dress. Conchitina just discovered some beautiful oh Mrs. Marcos gowns by Pitoy. Well, and will those be uh, showcased you know, as well? Yes. Oh my it was, God! It was Amazing. Eddie and I yesterday. We opened a trunk, mm -hmm. and we found the most fabulous gown. Wow. And it turns out that Mrs. Marcos had asked him to just keep it for her, you know. And um, these were gowns that were, Eddie, tell me, uh, the, you, you were raving. Well, you, actually, because Calados, you know, the first you know. time they didn't show us those things. You know, so I told them finally, because they, they were bringing the wrong things. So mm -hmm. I said, let me go up and, and take a look. And then we opened these trunks and I saw the most beautiful, beautiful gowns. Is it just like hidden yeah, treasures yeah. that uh, it, they are treasures. It, 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 they are treasures. It, it's you know, like um, opening the the tomb of Tutankhamen, <laughs> basically. King Tut's you know? alive. I mean, as now, far as be, a is concerned. Will you be showing? Uh, yeah, the, the, the clothes will be shown. Will be shown on exhibit 
We have an exhibit before as you enter the ballroom. Okay. So some of the gowns of Pitoy from his old clients and we hopefully from Mrs. Marcos, we will display them on mannequins wow. before going into the show. And some will also be modeled by... Uh, yes. Some, by some will, yes, yes. Okay. The ones that you'll be seeing on display are gowns by Imelda Cojuanco. Mm -hmm. She's a fabulous mm -hmm. icon, you know, and, and they're spectacular. And then Celia Diaz Laurel, he made beautiful uh, ternos for mm -hmm. her. And then there is a beautiful, beautiful gown of the the Sobels, no? It's good. And Betsy Brias Westendorf, the artist, an old, old vintage uh, Philip, uh, Filipiniana that Pitoy made for her some years ago when she was still living here. Very beautiful. Well, aside from paying tribute to uh, Pitoy Moreno, I think that anyone who really visits um, the, the gala can also take a, a history lesson. Yes, because exactly. history is told through yeah. the gowns, yes. uh, the pieces that he has created. Mm -hmm. Really, they're yeah. wonderful. The gala also this, has a This is uh, something that, that, that you can't do anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a dead art, you know. Well, we will relive it. Yeah. We will relive it at the gala. The gala is when again. It's on that's November twenty-one. That's all we can do. Yeah. But we November can November twenty-one. I will. I will be there at the Edsa Shangila Hotel. We'd like to thank the Edsa Shangila for hosting us, mm -hmm. and also uh, this is also a, a charity uh, event. Mm -hmm. the pro, part of the proceeds of the sponsors and some ticket sales are going to the Lopez Group Foundations. Okay. Which, now, which support community-based uh, endeavors of the law process. Okay, well, I definitely will see you there. I know that uh, uh, Pitoy Moreno will be there as well. I yeah. know for those who may be curious, uh, how is he doing uh, health-wise just before we... Well, you him? know, time takes its toll on people. It does. And uh, it's no secret that Pitoy is losing his memory. But then I, I have lost mine to some degree and we <laughs> so all forget. <laughs> some of us want to lose ours. Yes, yes. Okay. yes. He's managing well, he keeps himself well, and you're going to see, even in the pictures, that he's aware of what's going on. He's uh, coping, mm -hmm. you know, getting old is not easy. He's coping and he's doing quite well. Well, it'll be a great uh, party mm -hmm. for him, a great celebration yes, of yes. his life and Hopefully, his work and his yeah. art. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's uh, on the 21st. On the 21st, yes. Okay, we'll see you all there. Thank you so much for coming thank in this you, morning. Thank it was a pleasure. Thank, thank you so you, much. Ginger. Pleasure. Now, up next, join us.